Imagine a city where the streets hum with the voices of scholars, where knowledge is not only preserved but expanded, and where books are considered more valuable than gold. This was Beit al-Hikmah, the House of Wisdom, one of the most remarkable centers of learning in human history. Located in the heart of Baghdad, this magnificent institution was far more than a library. It was a beacon of intellectual brilliance, where scholars from diverse backgrounds came together to seek truth, advance science, and shape the future of civilization. The birth of a knowledge empire. Beit al-Hikmah was founded in the 8th century under the rule of Caliph Harun al-Rashid and reached its peak during the reign of his son, Caliph al-Mamun. Unlike many rulers of the time, al-Mamun was not only a political leader, but also a passionate advocate for learning. He believed that knowledge should be gathered from all corners of the world, studied and further developed. Under his patronage, Greek, Persian, Indian, Egyptian and Roman manuscripts were collected and meticulously translated into Arabic. This translation movement preserved countless works that would have otherwise been lost to history. Fields such as mathematics, astronomy, medicine, engineering, philosophy and chemistry flourished, as scholars worked not just to understand ancient texts, but also to build upon them, making groundbreaking discoveries that still influence modern science. A city of libraries, a gateway to the universe. Beit al-Hikmah was not a single building, it was an entire city of knowledge, a grand institution where learning had no boundaries. Imagine walking through its halls, one room filled with philosophers debating the meaning of existence, another buzzing with mathematicians calculating new theorems, and yet another where astronomers map the stars, unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. The institution housed one of the largest and most advanced libraries in the world, containing thousands of manuscripts, scrolls, and scientific texts. It also included observatories, where astronomers like Al-Batani and Al-Fargani studied planetary movements, refining calculations that would later influence Copernicus and Galileo. Hospitals and medical schools were attached to the House of Wisdom, where pioneers like Avicenna, Ibn Sina, and Al-Razi advanced the fields of medicine and pharmacology, developing treatments that would be used for centuries. Great minds that shaped the future. The scholars of Beit al-Hikmah were not mere translators. They were pioneers who reshaped human understanding. Some of the greatest scientific minds of the Islamic Golden Age worked here, including Al-Kh Wayarizmi, the father of algebra, who introduced the decimal positional system and laid the foundations of modern mathematics. Avicenna ibn Sina, a legendary physician and philosopher whose book The Canon of Medicine remained a standard medical textbook for centuries. Al-Razi raises, a physician and chemist who made significant advancements in surgery, smallpox treatment, and pharmacology. Al-Biruni, a polymath who calculated the Earth's circumference with astonishing accuracy centuries before Western scientists. Al-Kindi, a philosopher who combined Islamic thought with Greek philosophy, paving the way for the Renaissance. Their work did not remain confined to the Islamic world. Beit al-Hikmah became a bridge between Eastern and Western civilizations, transmitting knowledge that would later fuel the European Renaissance. The tragic end of a civilization's jewel. But even the brightest stars eventually fade. In 1258, the Mongols, led by Hulagu Khan, invaded Baghdad. The House of Wisdom, along with its priceless books and manuscripts, was destroyed. Legend says that the Tigris River ran black for days as thousands of books were thrown into the water, their ink bleeding into the current. Centuries of knowledge were lost in a matter of days. 
the world had witnessed the fall of one of the greatest intellectual institutions in history. Yet, while the physical structure of Beit al-Hikmah was reduced to ashes, its knowledge survived. Many of its books had already been copied and taken to Spain, North Africa and beyond, where they would later influence European scholars like Fibonacci, Copernicus, and Leonardo da Vinci, the everlasting legacy of Beit al-Hikmah. Though the house of wisdom was destroyed, its spirit never died. It stands as a powerful reminder of the boundless potential of human intellect and the importance of preserving and sharing knowledge across cultures. Today, its legacy lives on in the universities, research institutions, and libraries that continue to seek truth and expand our understanding of the world. Beit al-Hikmah teaches us that knowledge is the true wealth of humanity, one that should be nurtured, protected, and passed on to future generations. Even if the house of knowledge was lost, its light still shines in the books we read, the discoveries we make, and the endless quest for wisdom that continues to define our civilization.